You hear the commercial? That's definitely Werewolves of London. What's the chances of me turning on my camera when my favorite song is on? No, it's not my favorite song. Some dead guy saying that. No, well, not when he was dead, but... And he was alive, but... His name is Warren Zevon. And he wore huge glasses. And he has the weirdest backup guitarist. Ugly as hell. <laughs> That's some crazy name. <laughs> okay, I think I'm cracking up right now because... Sometimes, when things are too good to be true, and you're freaking out, you know what I mean? Freaking out. Sometimes, something you want more than anything, the thing people want most, it can freak you out when it happens. I wanted to be loved. Big prizes come in small packages. This gets funny. This is about Mac. I mean, half of me says, stay away, he's homeless, he's ugly, he's bald. I don't judge. He rang my bell today looking for me, and I said, my, I was napping, I had a headache, and I was like, send the guy away! And he wanted to see me. Half of me likes him, and the other half is runs away. And every time I'm out with him, I run away, I get scared. I don't know, he actually, in nine degrees, took his coat off from me. He seems too good to be true, at a homeless shelter. The funny part is his friends probably want to get rid of him. What do you think? He's going to crash here? That's what my mom thinks. We're going to get robbed again or we're going to get cr What is there to take? Robbers got everything. Um, I know he was very close to me on the next block, and I'm definitely going to see him again. I wanted to make a video with him, but... He didn't want to. Well, he did, but... You know, he was acting very funny to be in the video. He wanted to make a video kind of about what he wanted, and I wanted to make it about what I wanted. He wanted an R-rated video. <laughs> I said, you know, I was saying to myself, talking to him on top of the stairs, I was saying to myself, you know, I don't think I'm ready to take the next step in this relationship. It's not really a relationship. It's a friendship relationship. Before I cross the border of dating, i got to think twice. Because every time something good happens, it gets taken away. And I'd rather not have it than... The guy has it real bad. Crazy about me. And I'm like looking here with 30 heads. What do I do? He has very bad habits. I don't want to talk about it. He drinks. And he don't want to really clean his act up. <laughs> Crack up. I'm cracking up. I think I'm going down the wrong road. He's going down the wrong road. I can't. I can't believe I'm falling for that piece of junk. Oh my god. What is wrong with me? <laughs> What do I do? I'm going to see Max. I'm going to see Max tomorrow. The whole homeless shelter is calling us Elise Sax for a name together. <laughs> I still love my man. He's giving me trouble. I'm not really ready to cheat. And I don't call this cheating because there's no committed marriage. It's a freaking piece of paper. We're not even married. He loves his mother. And of course, I'm going to go to the next best thing. <laughs> if you call Max the best thing, he looks like a mass murderer. <laughs> and then he started, he brought up the D word. The last thing I really wanted to talk about, he brought up the D word. And it got me thinking. He brought up death. Oh boy, I don't really like thinking about that. <laughs> it's funny, he always talks about dying. But it's... It's not funny. It's scary. Really think about it. We are here by chance. And life is a gift. Being born by chance. I think that's how atheists talk. But. Live to the fullest. Of course we're all dying. Life goes really fast. And we can never bring this moment back. It's one of the reasons I make videos. I hate people that take life for granted. I really do. They take love for granted, but life, 
I don't understand. They complain about materialistic things. They play money to win money and lose money. Gamblers. Oh, and Harley might be getting his iPhone because Philip's chipping in. He wants to come back here and he didn't even know for six months my mother was mad about him clocking me in the head in the car. Guys, let me tell you, men, they don't know what they want. Now I don't know what I want. Please, somebody give me advice. This guy is bad news, but not for me. He really cares about me. He would freeze to death. His face was red, so I gave him the jacket. He gave me five bucks. My mom was like, isn't that his hungry food? I said I'd try to re be resistible, but taking it, but I feel like I took an advantage of him. You know, we were making out straight, slapping each other's asses, and my this morning, one of the neighbors called my mom and said, you don't want to know which neighbor. The boys are back. I thought they were gone. I knew I wouldn't have my sweet victory of losing them. Who are those cousins staying there that don't speak English? They're cute. <laughs> really, the Gonzaleses would be very jealous. I mean, you know, they don't speak English. And this kid is Buddy Rabbit's heat. There's a father, a son, and a grandson. Not a word of English. All they know is the word Yolanda, his sister. So I'm guessing that's her bro. Why do I keep slapping myself? Just thinking about what I was talking about with him yesterday. We're from two, I'm from the middle class. He's from the lower class. He's pretty, like, burnt the hell out. But I don't judge. You know what the funny part was? I think he was the guy wearing a ski mask, having his face covered, this crazy guy in my area. Always looking over me. Kind of got paranoid. Like, oh my god, how does he not get caught? I think it's him. I'm not sure. Because I still see that person around. At night, it's really, really creepy. He just sits there. It's funny, but I'm not sure if it's... I don't think it is. Wouldn't be Jake. No crazy stalker. I'm exhausted. Slap happy exhausted again. I get tongue tied. I get kind of shy around guys. Like He's like everything I've been. I know he's homeless. Everything I've been looking for. He does everything I want. I put him up to the test. And he passed everything. It's like he's an angel. And I know it's too good to be true because I believe people could be spirits of the fucking devil. He brought up death because his girlfriend died in mid sex. His ex girlfriend. That's why it's on his mind. And he said heavy ethnic girls are his type. I don't fit in that criteria. He said I'm exceptional. Yes. He's white, but I'm being pulled in two different directions. Where do I go? Right, left. It's like I'm being turned inside out. <laughs> now he's mad at me. Now he's going to get his friends to go gunning for me. Those guys are bad news. They want to get rid of him. Mom said, how could you go for scum of the earth like that? I said, he's a nice guy. I said, my mom is cool. I brought him over for two seconds, and she literally flipped out. I want to show everyone in my life what they look like. She was like, I knew what he looked like. And the neighbor called, and Yolanda was like, she was making out with some guy in the street. <laughs> Be like a jackass idiot. Now I feel like scum of the earth, because I don't judge. I learned this from music. I used to judge it was the wrong thing to do. Am I in love? Is my hormone playing games on me? What is it? I'm definitely on my time a month, but let me tell you. I did get my period again after five years and five months, and this year it came on seven days. It used to be two, three, and go away. And then my mom was cracking up that I want to have another baby. My dream is conflict and what she fears the most. But it is my dream, and it is my life. She is, she was paying my bills, but now we're splitting. You don't need to know our fucking business. She cried at Mrs. Welcher on the phone and then gets to look all at me. And so the three ways, she's very sneaky. If 
feel so bad for my mom, but it is my life, and I'm going to do what the hell I want. She thinks I'm using this guy for a baby. I'm not. Well, I did ask, but he's not a good candidate. <laughs> what am I going to do when I see him tomorrow? Every time I go to the bodega, i got to pass that homeless shelter. I told him I was hit by a car before, and he was like, oh, I get hit by cars all the time. I said, because you're so drunk, you probably got tossed through the windshield. I don't want to go down the dark road. Because he's got some nasty habits. I don't need to be around these people. Him and his borderline teenage early adult friends, or they after that age. But now I'm sweating like a pig. I'm literally cracking up. Literally. Due to last year's losing the crown from the hair break, the whole entire crown. Why don't I wear a queen's crown to be the queen of Sheba? Right? I was embarrassed to see my man when my crown broke off. When I looked back on my videos last year, like I said before, I had a full head of hair. I don't mean to sound shallow, but very insecure about my looks. People say I'm an above average looking person. I just think I'm a person. And yes, a life is a gift that could get taken away at any point, at any age. And we don't know what happens afterwards. That got me having nightmares. 30 years of my life, never getting back. That's why I pretend to be younger. I'll never be younger. I have too much experience. But live in the moment, because you never get these moments back. And 20 years go by, I'll be wishing, watching this video, wishing it was this time again. These are one of the other reasons, due to a timeline of keeping this vlog. So, daily update. What did I do today? I needed a break, if you want to know the truth. He went to the door, I literally hit, hit under the covers. I have a terrible cough. He has one, too. He got me sick again, I think. I don't know. Something's going around that's kind of contagious. But I'm going to kind of listen to the side of myself that's going to say, don't see him again. It's going to kill me, one of the hardest choices of my life. It's a dilemma. It's the first time be the dumpy. I don't want to break a nice guy's heart, but it's, i got to protect myself. He spent his life breaking down that wall, and I spent my life building that wall, that shield, not to be taken advantage of. <laughs> he stuck his pants down my pants. I said, you're going too fast. Of course, it felt great. It was going too fast. And then it was my breasts. But it was too fast for me. I only know it in a month. I'm a real romantic. And he might be. Not the one, but a romantic. I met my soulmate before and I blew it. We have many out there. Pick the right partners, people. That's my advice to you. And I'm going to listen to my heart and walk out. He wants a home. I want a man. I want a family. This is some, I was disowned by my family on my dad's side when I was little because I'm Jewish. People in school, in private school, laughed at me because my father is not Jewish. And they looked at me, he's a half-breed. So I want to make up for the family. And my mom's side disowned me because I used to drink. Max's worst habit, of course. 